Harry Styles, I'm 16, I'm from Holmes Chapel in Cheshire. I think it's always very flattering to hear, you know, things. But, he loves it. Uh, yeah, you can't not enjoy it because it's always, it's just, it's nice, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm Harry Styles, uh, I'm 16. Um, I work in a bakery. Yeah. I work there on Saturdays. Yeah. But I finished my GCSEs just now. Yeah. So I'm going back to college in September. Um, law, sociology, um, business, and something else, but I'm not sure yet. Um, well, I've always wanted to audition, but I've always been too young. I ended up throwing it into a pond, and then the dog, somebody's dog, went in and got it out of the pond, and then the dog ran back up, and the dude whose dog it was went. Oh, the dog's carrying a mammary. The ultimate venue for a musician. Yeah, I think just, you know, the whole kind of aura of the place is amazing. When you walk down the corridor, you feel everyone who's walked down the corridor before you. And it's, it's crazy. It's, a, it's an honor to play it, so it's going to be fun. Are you surprised everybody's so excited about you dating Taylor? It's gotten a lot of attention. I just bumped into her in a zoo and uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I travel around going through different experiences every single day with four of my best friends who I didn't know two years ago and now are as close as Something that we feel like we have to cope with, you know, it's kind of, it's been insane but um, we kind of just go with it, we have a lot of fun and we work very hard. I just want to be this for the rest of my life. That guy's old. And he moves. He moves like, like nothing you've ever seen. It's yeah. unreal. So His joints are just made of like <laughs> milkshake. You guys come through Houston. Next somewhere in Houston. Houston. My couch you is open come to on you. Stage with yeah. us in Houston. Is that an invitation? Yeah. I was at home the other day with um, a couple of lads because the football was on, so we were being lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the football finished. And we were like, oh, what's on TV? And then we ended up watching The Notebook. Which I think. <laughs> okay, I think that's rolled up. It went from the most laddie I've been but to maybe the least laddie. My man. In the bin. Sure. So, you. This uh, girl it came to a few of the shows on tour and she dances like crazy. I've never seen anyone. Jacqueline. So Jacqueline. Hi. All right. He's a, a very with talented great. dancer. <laughs> You know, the, the fans have obviously given us so much that we've always felt it important to give them new music and kind of just keep adding to it. It was almost like a sense of camaraderie going in because it was a lot of people's first big project that they were working on. These guys were going in and had no idea what they were going to do, really. They were just kind of thrown, you know, into the situation with a gun and some boats you're kind of scared that there is this giant boat next to you and there's flames here and this is blowing up and i think just putting us into the situation rather than kind of creating a fake one around us you don't have to act like you're struggling to swim after a while no i don't think so i don't think so um, I, I love doing this film so much. Uh, I, I really enjoyed it. I feel very lucky to be part of, you know, such an incredible film. And, uh, and I just haven't really thought about it other than that. I haven't thought kind of about what's next or anything. I'm going to be touring and stuff, so, so I haven't really thought about it. Too. Thinking of secretly being great at juggling, you should know that there are side effects. <laughs> and those side effects may include waiting patiently for someone to mention juggling in a conversation. <laughs> No one ever mentioning juggling. <laughs> Starting a solo career to increase your media exposure for the sole purpose of increasing the odds that someone will ask you about juggling. Still nothing. All they ever want to talk about is your music and your love life. Damn it. So far, you're eating a sandwich. <laughs> what kind of sandwich is that? Ham. <laughs> I can see it's ham. You're chewing as you're speaking to me. I can, yeah, that, yeah, that's ham. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, that's ham. How is it? How's the sandwich? Good. Is everyone else eaten? Everyone's fine? Yeah, alright. Okay. 
now. He fixed it quick though, didn't he? You almost didn't even notice. Okay. Now, most importantly, I don't get to do this if you guys don't come and see the show. And uh, I really like doing it. So, I don't get to do it if it's not for you, and I appreciate you. I love every single one of you in this building tonight. Thank you for being here. Thank you for allowing me to do this. I only have one thing to say to President Trump. Just stop your crying, it's a sign of the times. <laughs> to Harry, why did you pick Fine Line to be the name of your album? Love Yasmin. Why did I pick Fine Line to be the name of my album? Well, wrote the song called Fine Line. Um, wrote it very early on in the process. It kind of felt like when I wrote it, it was kind of always going to be the last song on the album. It felt like it described to me the process of making it and uh, how the album felt in terms of the different kinds of songs on it and stuff the most. And uh, it's my f one of my favorite songs on the album. Do I purposely time coming to Australia with the fact that it's summer? No, is it a nice coincidence? Yeah. Is he? Yeah, I ran into him about a year ago actually in a, in a pub in London. But you've blown way past him. Um, I yeah. mean, he's not doing Stern. <laughs> no, he's not. He's, yeah, he's he's amazing. Uh, he was like, the guy when we were on the show, like when we were on the show on X Factor, everybody was like, that guy is so fucking good. He's right. just so good. Like his voice was amazing. He's a great, he's just like a very talented musician. For to be able to get to do this job every day and... Um, I'm really happy to be here and proud to be celebrating British music tonight. Um, I want to thank my fans for being so generous to me, uh, always, and everyone in my life who has my back. Hello. Um, just want to say a thank you to the Grammys and everyone who voted, and um, I feel incredibly lucky. I loved being back out on the road and I'm very much looking forward to going out again this year. Um, I'd love to say a massive thank you to my band and my crew um, for everything they did during this tour. Um, obviously given the circumstances it was a very difficult, um, a very different touring environment than, than everyone was used to. Um, but I just want to thank them for the way they pulled together and managed to make this tour happen. So thank you to all of you and to all the fans who came and got a ticket and made it happen. Um, thank you so much. Couldn't have done it without you. And thank you again. I hope you have a good night. Take care.